Isabel Rivas is here with us on Kababayan today. We were just speaking about her beautiful paradise of a farm called... Paradise Farm Ayon. or Paraiso. Ayan, Paraiso. Oo, sa Iba Zambales. Right. Okay, so habang um, pinapursue mo pa rin yung career mo bilang isang artista sa Pilipinas at farmer ka din, but you also get to enjoy being here in America and pag nandito siya, Akala nyo ba ay nagre-relax lang? Hindi! Nag-aaral pa! Isabel, talk to praise us God. about about being able to come back and forth to America. Yeah, praise God. It's another gift of the Lord to me. Uh, Inambisyon ko rin ulit yan, to be able to come back and forth. And uh, when I'm here, I, I enjoy um, going to school. Ine-educate ko pa yung sarili ko uh -oh. for further improvement and for um, the future, kung anong ibibigay pa ng Panginoon sa akin in the future. Ano yung course na tinitake mo? Entrepreneurship. I'm taking up my uh, three-year entrepreneurship classes at the at the community college mm -hmm. in Irvine. Mm -hmm. So, And then once a week, I take up uh, real estate. Kasi I uh, malapit sa puso ko, I really love uh, properties. I wish one day I'll be able to do that here in America because I used to do that in the Philippines during the late 80s but our market slumped so hindi ko na siya na, na pursue but I want to do that here hopefully. There's no stopping Isabel <laughs> Rivas. You're just really pursuing everything you put your heart into. Yeah, because my my son is a, and you know my family is already parang matured na sila so I'm on my own. It, this is my life now. This is my time now. And I'm sure nakaka-relate yung ibang babae na malalaki na yung mga anak nila. So, I don't want to waste my time. So, I go to the gym and I do a lot of studying. Yes, I, and she's at the gym not once, not twice, <laughs> not three times. Four times a week, Isabel, I see your posts. Yes. At ako iniisip ko, di ba? I mean, I'm in my 30s, nagtatrabaho ako. Pero daig na daig mo ako, kaka-workout mo. You're very disciplined. <laughs> Well, we have to because I am in my, uh, you know, matured age. So, I don't want to just um, parang grow old na parang tumaba ka na lang and then you're, you So, sag. you really take care really of yourself. Want, I want to take care of myself. Aside from my, my in intellect, I also have to take care of my health and my body. Ayan. Di ba bilang isang babae, marami tayong... Marami tayong inaalala lalo na pag tumatanda tayo but you are embracing getting older you are glowing you're working out you're taking care of yourself and this serves as an inspiration for other Filipinas di ba oh, na how hindi nice. porket tumatanda na tayo eh bahala na di ba how nice thank you for saying that mm -hmm. because it's uh, giving me a lot of uh, um, parang approval of what I'm doing because sometimes you don't you, you don't really know if you're doing the right thing or you know but I know this time I'm doing a good thing I'm taking care of myself oh, oh. alam mo uh, minsan pag pag may problema ako bilang isang babae uh, I always go to my girlfriends to talk to them and sometimes women just need encouragement from other women it's important to have that sisterhood right yes. you can and call me anytime thank you <laughs> and, uh, yes. and we always need acceptance from friends it's important without it parang what is life all about diba? we need acceptance of our family our friends our neighbors because it's love eh. without that life is empty that's right Ay, very inspiring talaga yung pinag-uusapan natin. It's, a, it's Women's Month, and so there are a lot of issues as a woman that even today, in 2015, uh, medyo hindi natin masyadong pinag-uusapan. At bilang isang kababaihan na Pilipina pa, diba, there are certain things in our culture that are not encouraged. Uh, obviously, in, in close circles, bilang magkaibigan, Pwede tayo mag-usap, but there's still so much more to go in mm -hmm. terms of, right. you know, uh, women's issues. Yes. What do you think as a Filipina is the most pressing issue uh, para sa'yo? Wow, and dami kasi nating pressing issues no, in the Philippines. But to just uh, probably uh, jump into one thing, parang hindi natin accepted yung mga, yung mga abortion, yung, which we don't really, should we should not. Diba? Kasi that's life. Di natin ginawa yun, so we, we should not terminate any life at all. Mm -hmm. 
Pero, but, but just talking but about just it, talking hindi, hindi, yeah. parang hindi pwedeng pag-usapan, di ba? Even if, like, kunyari, yung, merong isang friend na gumawa nun, in the past, hmm. parang when we when we find out, parang we look down on that person. There's when, a stigma yeah. attached to this. When it should not be like that because we don't know the reason. Right. Why. So, lahat tayong mga kababaihan, we all have different situations yes. in life. And as a Filipina, I think it's important that we talk about these issues. It's not saying that we condemn them. Mm. Kasi lahat naman tayo may, may sariling opinion, di ba? Kailangan lang talaga respetuhin natin yung ating fellow kababaihan. Right, right. Right. Just to accept them for what they went through because we're going through our own battles too. And um, parang to be open about everything and just really support one another. That's right. All right. Pagbalik natin dito sa kababayan today, pag-uusapan natin yan. Supporting your fellow Filipina. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Isabel Rivas.